Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with some more House Flipper. Today we are starting on the uh, hmm, garden after building the house. I think it's what this one's called. I remember, just check the title. What's the uh, first one that we're getting to in the garden DLC? The garden Flipper DLC, I guess. Uh, there's only three houses on here, so this is gonna be the first one. Go ahead and walk in here. Got room right here all bricked off it looks like they just started building and then just kind of abandoned it in a sense like they didn't finish okay got a couple windows big old openings got some staircase the staircase looks the best thing in here uh all right got upstairs big old room here uh, yeah this is the balcony it was just standing down there from the start so we got a balcony in the front it looks like maybe one in the back there got another little building over there probably a garage go ahead hop on down here and got a bunch of lumber and other trash all over the place some cement some bags oh we got moles mole hills yeah we got a little garage over here Pretty good size garage, I guess. Anything in here? Huh? Garage pretty clean. House itself was pretty clean. Just had boards on the outside. Mainly the yard that's a mess. Alrighty, so here are the floor plans of the house we just looked at. And this is what we're going to do to it. So, if y'all notice, we did change those walls over here on the left side uh, for those rooms. Um, to kind of resize them a little bit um and yeah I, I think that's about the only structurally thing that we're going to change on this house for the most part except adding doors and windows and shit where it needs to be or at least doors i think there's already windows in those places but we're going to make that there and then here's the second floor and this is what we're going to turn it into so we're going to be throwing the kitchen and like a lounge maybe dining area type ordeal up there and such and put it there uh, besides that, it's, uh, yeah, this is basically getting finished, I guess. Alrighty, so we are done here. I went ahead and put a driveway here since there was none originally. Um, I didn't make it go as far as what it looks like it is out here. Um, as you can tell, there's little spots on both. I felt like that was wide enough and I did kind of go ahead and do an angle right here. Um, that way it gets wide enough for the entire garage back there. And I went ahead and added a little sidewalk right here some gravel here got some of these uh there uh solar powered lights and look like flowers even though they're not just because i did not want to put actual flowers here and i didn't feel like trying to squeeze the more of these in over here or try to get it butt up against the uh, house not be roughly over here um, but yeah, I, I try to lay it out as y'all can tell, like see the line here with that line. So it kind of stuck out a little bit on both sides. I would kind of, well, yeah, it would have stuck out a little bit and I went and left that. 
I didn't do anything on the inside of the garage. It's all the same, but I did add the brick on the outside as well as the house. Got the brick on the outside. Y'all can see uh, the inside of the garage still completely just cinder blocks and stuff. You know, I feel like that's about how it should be. Um, I went ahead and carried this little driveway type concrete uh, slabs or whatever around here. Um, I went ahead and went around this tree. I thought about cutting it out and having it completely removed. And I was like, nah, they might want a little shade right here. Got a little patio type couch back here that they can chill in. Got above ground pool they can go hop in if they wanted. A little patio chair and table. It was a barbecue grill away from the house. So, you know, they, they can have a little bit of fun time out here, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and go in the back door here. <laughs> oh yeah, when I was making this, I was like, you know what? This is going to be my watermelon house. One thing I don't like though is this little bit right here. I don't know if y'all noticed whenever I went in the back door. I'm gonna get this all the way. I got like a half slab right here. There's quarter pieces, but it would have been too big and it wouldn't let me close. So I would have had to shift everything that way and I couldn't shift everything that way because of that. So I would have had to shift this back a little bit and I just didn't because I started back there, start off with, so whatever. But <laughs> I, I called this my watermelon house. Um, I went ahead and did like green wooden uh, flooring. And I believe this paint job was juicy watermelon. It was something watermelon. I think it was juicy. Um, so yeah, this is my little watermelon house. Got uh, splashes of black or whatever here and there for the seeds, I guess. Carry this flooring into all the rooms except the uh, bathroom. I did change the paint for the bedrooms a little bit. I got some type of orange here. I don't remember what it was. I just kind of randomly picked a color and what I ended up with. But I tried to get a bed to kind of match with the light brown wood and the green uh, sheets and pillows. And nice big old wardrobe over here. And dark wood kind of match the doors. Got a little bit of a living room here. Kind of like a couch, sofa, sectional thing with the TV there. Y'all know I, I don't put that much furniture in houses. You know, another bedroom, got the purple, got the purple bed and, and the wardrobe. And that's about it. I ain't put no fucking uh, blinds in half these fucking houses or anything. It's all good. It, it, it works. Now here's the bathroom. And I ended up having to change it up some. Originally, this was going to be all walled in. Um, I think I'm going to put a shower here. and I forgot what was going to be over here. Um, I had to kind of rearrange stuff. Because it wouldn't let me fill in this little spot that had an opening. I went and put a window there. And it's just a regular window you can see out. My mind is like it's more of a frosted accent type window that you can't really look through. It's just there to let in light. But still, you know, private and stuff like that. I went and put the tub there. Um, yeah. But to the with not being able to fill that in, I had to rearrange all this. So this isn't the setup that was on those blueprints I showed y'all earlier. Uh, but it, it is what it is. I got a toilet, a little, little paper holder. I got the sink, kind of the little floating sink type ordeal. A uh, big old mirror, little towel rack thing. And then the shower over here. There's no door. You just kind of walk in. Do your business. Got the little handle right there. And yeah. Y'all see what's going on. I got the green uh, tile in here on the floor. And then green uh, L tile. Yeah. I was thinking that's what it was. I was about to say. Got to check it just to make sure. In there. Um, as well as y'all notice, I have this type of uh, light. All over the house right here and then the bathroom is the only ones i use the small one i believe uh wait no i got one over there uh maybe upstairs once but the rest get off the bigger version of it but that, that's about it and then on up here we got our little dining room and kitchen area and then the kitchen area had to be uh, changed a little bit i was gonna put uh uh overhead cabinets or whatever hanging cabinets down here and i was originally going to do this one different than that that's the more the l-shaped one i was going to do the angled one 
but this style of cabinet for it to match does not have the angled one. And then I was just going to go ahead and put elbow one down here as well. But it sticks out too far on this side and it covers up this window. But on this back side, we got more space between it and the window on both sides, so it doesn't. Besides that, it's got basically kind of mirrored image, except this is the corner piece that goes back here, and this corner piece is on this side instead of over here. So that's a little different, but besides that, they both have a sink and a, a stove and a big old fridge. And I thought about putting the fridges side by side and leaving the gaps between them and the cabinets, but then I was like, nah, I'll go ahead and do that. You got a nice little bar island type thing over here. I thought about doing uh, bar stools, but I was like, nah, I, I want this more like a serving type bar. Like you, you make this big dinner and stuff and you set it out here and people just kind of walk by like cafeteria style and just load up their plates, put their tray on this little thing and just kind of move on along and then you come over here and sit down. And it's only a six person uh, table, but it, it, it's good. It's good enough. Now here I didn't really do much. I did go ahead and put black flooring down in here. I went ahead and left the white. I thought about changing the white to black as well to kind of match some of the trim on the doors and stuff that I added, but then it wouldn't match the trim on the windows and stuff that was already there. I would have had to replace all the windows as well, and I really just didn't feel like doing all that. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna keep white. And I'm just gonna change the little decking, I guess here. Let's go ahead and jump over there. So yeah, that's uh video. Yeah, let me just kind of chill in here. Oh, to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. I just want to kind of chill in the pool here. You know, just kind of float around, enjoy the view. It looks a lot better than what it did. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out. Eli. Everybody love everybody.